Hello! In this video, we're going to take a look at the Node-RED link nodes. When you have a lot of wires in your flow, the link nodes can help tidy things up and give your flow a much cleaner look. Let's get started. We'll start off by adding four inject nodes. We'll copy this and then paste it four times to get through this a little faster. We'll give a unique name to each inject node, and we'll just simply call it inject and then a number. And then the output of the inject node will make it the same as its name. So we'll change this to a string, inject one. We'll do the same for the rest of them. Now that we've got that done, we'll add a debug node. We'll also name this. We'll just call it debug1. Now we'll wire all these together. And click on deploy. We'll click the button on each inject node just to be sure that we're getting the right messages, which it looks like we are. We'll go ahead and clear this. So you can see as you add more and more nodes, the wiring can get really kind of messy. I'll go ahead and delete these. And what can help a lot with, with the wiring is by using these link in and linked out nodes. So we'll start by dragging in a link in node. We'll wire this up. We'll double click this node and we'll give it a name. We'll just call this 2 debug1. Now when we add a link out node, I can wire it up, double click it, and the name will say from inject1. You can call these whatever you'd like, but I like to call, name them according to what they're connected to. Now you can see here that I can connect this to debug one. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now when I click on either of these nodes, you can see that it shows me the wire between them. So I'll go ahead and copy again these link nodes and paste them in. Now I'll go through each of these link nodes and uniquely name them as well. So that'll be inject2, inject3, and inject4. Again, when you click on a link node, you can see where it's connected to. And from this perspective, you can see it's connected to all of them. So I'll go ahead and click on Deploy. I'll now wire these up. And now click on Deploy. Now I'll go ahead and click on each button. Make sure that the messages are making it through, which they are. Let's make this a little more complex. We'll copy these notes here. And we'll paste them in. And again, we'll rename each node. So we'll call this debug2. Change this. We'll make it debug3. And change this last debug node to debug4. We'll also update these link nodes. Change that to debug2, to debug3, and finally to debug4. Now let's change where these link to. So we'll go ahead and click on this 
And let's just send this one to debug1. We'll send this to debug1 and 3. On this node, maybe we'll set it to 2 and 4. And then finally for this node, we'll set it to just 4. So again, clicking on each of these link nodes, we can see where they're connected. All right, we'll click on deploy, clean up the log. Now we'll click on each inject node and make sure the messages are making it where we intended them to. So inject two is coming from debug one and debug three. Inject three is coming from debug two and debug four. And finally inject four is coming through to debug four. Again, you can see that using the link nodes really helps clean up the wiring and make things much neater. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.